greetings everyone, I'm Jim, welcome to another video. You join me on site today. Uh, I have a, an access point to stick up on this pole, so uh, I just thought I'd quickly uh, let you join me on this wonderful escapade, whereupon we will be setting up some more of these fun little things. This is the, if I can get it right way around, oh, it is to me. Uh, this is the uh, Unify Switch Flex Utility outdoor mounting for the Unify flex switch, which for those that don't know, it's these little fun things, um, so that we can put a couple of, or a mesh point and eventually some cameras up top of the pole. So uh, yeah, a bit of fun, uh, just waiting to get a power cable run for me. So I've got some power to the unit and I've got another one sat ready, open with a power cable into its injector to uh, go into a room that uh, has some showers in it. So we'll put one in there as well to power a, uh, an access point that's on a building. So uh, apologies if there is a bit of wind noise. I uh, came out and forgot my uh, cover for the microphone, so it might be a bit windy. I do apologise for that. But uh, here we go. I'm just uh, going to get on with it and get it uh, bolted up and assembled. And I'll uh, take you through it with me. You will have to excuse this. You are in the boot of my car. But uh, for those who haven't seen this, this is the Unify Flex Utility, which is a outdoor housing for the Unify Flex switch. But it comes with, most importantly, the uh, 52 watt PoE injector so that you can actually power numerous devices off this. So I have a new one here, which I need to open. So I will get this open now, if I remember where, there we go. Do, do, do. Stick that up there out of the way. So this is a live unboxing on site with the instructions consisting of, this is the casing, this is what it looks like and follow the instructions, quite simple. Comes with pole mount, which will be will be using later. Injector with removable end. Now, let me just show you here. It comes with wiring for a mains cable with push connectors on it. You've got the uh, indicators on which is which. On the injector, this is the Unify uh, 60 watt 54 volt poe injector be aware of that if you uh, get one of these um don't go plugging this into anything 24 volt it will go bang so uh just get rid of the cellophane wrapping off of this screws jubilee clip Very small network cable for PoE power only. And finally, get rid of that out of the way down there for the time being. The actual flex utility mounting box. Let me pop it out of its protective cover for you. Flex utility comes with its side mounting unclips there, which you can then undo. And then internally, you have got your socket at the top for mounting your PoE injector in, your socket down below for actually slotting in your flex switch, like so. And then on the bottom, you have got your padded sockets for your network cables and your power cable coming in. So the idea behind that is you mount your PoE injector at the top, so slot them in there. You run the small network cable down along there in to port one, which powers the flex switch and then you power everything off the flex switch. So I'm just gonna get this assembled quickly 
and uh, I will join you again. Now once you've got your uh, injector and your switch in, depending on how you're going to mount your flex utility box, obviously you can either use the mount on a pole or you can actually screw it onto a flat base. So, so long as, again, the unit can actually slide on. One thing to note, there is no actual, if I show you, security lock on this, which is kind of a bit of a disappointment with these. So that is locked in place, but there's nothing to stop anyone coming along and lifting it off that mount. So again, ubiquity. Next time, maybe something under here would be a useful idea, just that you can slide and screw in or lock in place to stop anyone tampering with this. There's a tamper-proof, or well, tamper-proof, there's a screw that, can, that goes in there to stop people opening the unit, but there's nothing to stop people just generally coming along, go snip, 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 lift the unit off and run away with it. So just something to be aware of with these units. Um, now, let me just pop that back off again. Come here. Um, as this is going on a pole, I do need to uh, mount the Jubilee clip. So let me just get that unscrewed and threaded through. And then uh, I'll get that on its pole and uh, come back to you. Now you will have to excuse me, um, it started raining just about and the wind's picked up so apologies if the audio is a bit windy but uh, we now have a mesh AP sat on top of the pole, cable running down and obviously the mount set ready to go. Now the easy way to do this is not to do it one handed but I'm going to have to. So what I have because the pole is a split, I have the ability to raise and lower it here. And the to get around the issue of, obviously, the lack of locking on the actual unit, I will mount this unit on here, one-handed. Let's see if I can squeeze it on. Hold on. Yeah. You will have to excuse me. I might need to put you down in a second. No, I need to tweak the mount slightly. Pull it down. I haven't done this up tight yet, and you'll see why. Do, do, do. There we go. Right. Mount on. And then once it's in place, we just slide the unit up. I've got this tubular clip a tiny bit too tight to do this, but the basics are we slide it up so that you can't take it actually off of its pole. I'm going to get that sorted and I'll come back to you. Oh, apologies, I've had to switch over to my backup camera, so the my quality might have just got even worse. But as you can see, we now are powered up and online. We have power going up to our access point, which is meshed to the rest of the network. And we have, obviously, power into the thing. It's a bit windy down here at the moment. Excuse the swinging box lid. So, 60 watt injector, Unify Flex switch, Unify Flex utility. I'm gonna close the lid on this now and let it sit. I've got another one of these boxes to go and install in a uh, slightly better position somewhere else, but, uh, there you go. That is the Flex Utility setup. Hope you've uh, found this useful. Please uh, like, subscribe, share, comment and all the normal stuff and I will catch you in the next video.